I want to establish myself as one of the best players in Europe. I don't compare myself to other players. And that's not like sound off as, as selfish. It's just every player's game is different. I know what I'm capable of doing on the floor and it's for me, it's just an hour of the opportunity to go out there and show it. So my older brother, he was playing basketball and I started when I was five. And uh, he told me, you know, come to a practice, see if you like it. And so I, I went to that one practice and I just fell in love with the game. I thought it was super fun and I came to the next practice and the next practice and before you knew it, I was a basketball player. Basketball in Denmark is, is not popular. I don't even know if it's a top 15 sport, to be honest. And that also makes us tough in terms of exposure. But over the past recent years, of course, with my success, them being able to play international, Denmark basketball gets more exposure. It's a progress, but you know, as each season goes by, we get more success, and that's ultimately what it's about. Being able to represent your country is one of the biggest honors that you can have. I think for every European basketball player playing in the EuroLeague at some point during your career is definitely a goal. Since making his EuroLeague debut in 2021, Ife Lundberg has been flying the flag for Denmark in Europe's premier basketball competition. Oh man, he's an even better person than he is basketball player. And I think that, uh, you know, it, it's not a surprise why he's had some success the last couple of years. Well, if he's ready for, for, you know, the final jump among the top European players, the guy comes from uh, Denmark, which is probably better known from other different sports than basketball, and they you know, work hard, made it to a top European team like, like Ceska. He uh, matured there, he got better, and now I think he's one of our core players. Having watched so many games prior to my debut, I kind of knew what I was going into, but as a competitor, I always want to be successful at the biggest stage. And so I always try to prepare myself for whatever may come. I mean, it's been very um, hectic, so to say, when you look back at that span, because so many things has happened from adjusting to new countries, new cultures, new organizations, taking a step up every time, basically. And so just taking it all in, uh, being proud of myself, being even more motivated and hungry for more. And, um, you know, I don't intend to stop. I always say and preach to the younger generations, you have to have that passion from the get-go. You have to have that love. Being able to inspire all the other kids who, for example, played three-on-three -three back home in Denmark. Whatever the case may be, just try to pick up a basketball, see if it's something for you, and then just go for it because you never know if you're going to have success if you don't try it.